Pippin Barnacles, come in. Oh, Dashie, what is it? Something's not right. I'm getting a strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashie, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, Octonauts! There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the Octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now! That tunip, you found some strange objects in the garden pod. Well, let's go. Jumping jellyfish, they're eggs, but who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast e toe tickler, come out wherever you are. <laughs> aboard the ship. We found eggs in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes. It was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No. No. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. Oh! That whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Sounds like a snake. Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Prepare to be rescued, Sea Crate! Yeah! Stop right there! I am so getting off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I need
need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great, but um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! Water, water, find water! Water, water, find water! Captain, Dashi, come in! The eggs have hatched. Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Oh, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh, no. Dashie, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly. Kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too. There she is. Captain, the ship can't take much more of this. Quasi, Peso, you have to hurry. We have to get out of this whirlpool. Aye, Captain. We've almost got her. Yeah, little snakey, snakey, snake. Oh, no! Brave move, matey. I... I can't believe I just did that. Great work. Now hurry back inside. They're inside, Captain. Now's our chance. We've got to blast out. Okay, Dashi, I'll pull the brakes. Then you'll activate the turbo blasters. Ready? Brakes! <laughs> now, blasters! Blasters, go! No whirlpools in sight. Good work, Octonauts. And look who's here. Mama! My baby girl. Looks like it's safe for you snakes to head out to sea. <sighs> Come along, children. Yay, water! Thanks for all your help. I knew this would be a nice, safe place to lay my eggs. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, Octonauts, it's been a busy night. Why don't we all get some sleep? Eh? Oh. <laughs> Attention.
ocean creatures. The ocean current is extra strong today, so please be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need some help getting to safety? No, I'm moving. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? <laughs> Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> All I heard was daddy, 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 mate. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said, I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Mm -hmm. Looks just like a mother. Go. Here, get this one. Last one. The current! Oh, 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 no, no, no. The current swept his eggs away. Don't worry. We'll find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. See? The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has traveled along these cliffs, over these geysers, and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. Hey, I can blue, I can Yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. <laughs> Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg vax! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Hmm. These are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, a cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Well, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. <laughs> that manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Keepers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Let's get you back to your dad. <laughs> you found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. <laughs> oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Hello, mateys. Captain.
captain of rescue two eggs. Good work, Quasi. And I'm about to snag a third. Say, ah. Uh... Tunip, did you find one this time? Oh, no, that's a seashell. Oh. Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa, so it might get tricky. Hey. Oh, close, whoa. Nearly, whoa. Bingo. Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, hey, hey. Nine down, still one to go. It's Jimmy Junior, named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geezers, and the trench, but there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Junior. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Jimmy Junior, up ahead. Activate egg vax. Strong for the egg vax. We'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Hold this. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Now I've got you. <laughs> Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. <laughs> Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Hey, sir, take Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Snack time, man. Yeah, enjoy. Quasi, what do you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Junior is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get him. See you later, shockies. We proudly return with the one and only. Jimmy Junior! Oh no! Oh, we'll be no. I, I had him in my paw. I, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. That's a clam. That's an egg. That's an egg. Junior, you found Jimmy Junior. Who's Ah, we found all ten. Great job, Octo. Shellington, what did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? Thanks, Jimmy Junior. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Look at this video coming in from Dashy. 
She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, 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 oh. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashie should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. No, oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gum is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, oh no! Come back, Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh. Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! Well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod! Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in! <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time. Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Yeah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashie, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor. <gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gap, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashie, you take the sick bay. Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, 
Let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm. No sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see. Who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! Shoot! To the kitchen! Jump! Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now, where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gap E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Nah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh no, he's getting away from us. Don't worry, we'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Boys, oh, we've all had quite an adventure. Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys, let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> What's our position, Dashie? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. 
Australia? I've heard a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. Actually, Quaz is right. Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Oh, is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, uh, Captain. Yes, I think so. Hi, hi, Captain. Just practicing my tumbles. Dashy, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures out with it. <laughs> Looks like they need our help. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonaut to the launch bay. Octonaut, the river here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate fish vac. <laughs> now let's take them back home. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonaut, let's do this. <laughs> well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are. Don't let them get away. <laughs> We're under attack! Quick, everyone back to the cup. No! Yeah! out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers, just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. So. Whatever it was that stung you, it was so serious. Old. How are you feeling, no. Shellington? Uh, not too good, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can Come make on. you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced <laughs> river monsters. Peso, <laughs> you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. 
We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Hurry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi. You keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Whoa! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us now! Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! <laughs> here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Wow! <laughs> Shiver me, whiskers! Peso's back! <laughs> Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? Huh, we've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me? And what over? Not gonna cooperate, huh? All right then. Get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. <laughs> our baby! Who's got your bill? <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster? It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. Our egg must have rolled into the river during the flood. We were looking everywhere for it. We're very sorry, platypuses. We didn't know the egg was yours. We were going to try and find out where it came from, but then our friend Shellington, well... All oh, right, yeah. Sorry for the sting. I, I was just protecting my family and I got a little bit, uh, stingy. I completely understand, but I've got to find my medical bag so I can help Shellington. Aye, it's somewhere down in the muck. Perhaps I can make up for what I did to your mate and find that for you. I'll be right back. But how will he be able to find my bag in the dark? We platypuses don't mind the dark, because we swim with our eyes closed anyway. We find our way around underwater using our special bill. It tells us where things are. Aha! My medical bag. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Peso. It's feeling better already. Don't worry, the pain from my stinger should wear off soon. Sorry again, mates. And thanks for keeping our little ones safe. Oh, not to worry. It's not every day I get to meet a family of furry, web-footed, stinging, egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed platypi. Oh, ah, you're standing on my foot. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Captain, the kelp 
forest is right up ahead. Thanks, Dashy. Now, let's hurry. Shellington has someone special he wants us to meet. Ah, oh, can't you just tell us who it is? No, it's a surprise. Ooh, is it someone you've known for a long time? Actually, I've never met him before. Is it some kind of slimy kelp monster? No. Hmm, is it... A bunch of kelp heading straight for us. Yeah, the water's full of kelp. And it's all coming from the kelp forest. Something's not right. We'd better take a look. Kelp strands are connected to the seafloor by these special roots. If these roots come loose, the kelp will float away. If too much kelp floats away, There'll be no more kelp forest. And all these creatures will have nowhere to live. But what's causing all the kelp to come loose in the first place? A vast. Look, mateys. I was afraid of this. Red urchins. Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters. <laughs> Around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington. Everybody, this is my sister Pearl, the sea otter. Oh, hiya. Hi, Hi Hello. Lady. Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet. Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with the kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Ah, uh, well actually, as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way, as an octonaut. Oh, usually I can keep the urchins under control all by myself, but lately I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> This is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. Oh, look at look him. how fuzzy he is. But he's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Per is a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. Oh, but I still have to catch up on my urchin duties. Pearl. Why don't you and Shellington give Perry his diving lesson and let us clear the urchins out of the kelp forest? Oh, that would be wonderful. Octonauts, let's do this. We eat red urchins like this. Now you try. Oh, no, sweetie, that's a rock. <laughs> Barnacles to Shellington. How's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab. <coughs> But no red urchins. How about you? It took a while, but we managed to clear the red urchins out of the kelp forest. Oh, well, that should keep them under control, at least until it gets dark. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, we're holding hands 
and holding on to kelp so we don't float away. Still no sign of any urchins. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were... Oh, urchins! Oh, no. That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Flappity flippers! Captain, come in, Captain! The urchins are coming! The urchins are coming! Lots of them! Uh, quasi! Yeah. What? Sound the Octo Alert! Octonaut to the Gup A! Urchins are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's... Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tunip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone. In two positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy. We need all the help we can get. Avast! There they are, matey. Too close. We'll crash into them. Quasi, maybe you can reel them in. Already on it. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Ha ha! Got him. Ah. Shellington, ho! Wake up! <laughs> what? Jumping, Jumping jellyfish. jellyfish. Shellington, the cow. Grab the cow! Uh, 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 uh. Hold on tight, mateys! Uh, uh, we got to get back to the kelp forest. It's no use, Cap. The urchins are already getting through. This looks like a job for a keystone species. Shellington! Urchins will keep coming back to the kelp forest unless we move them somewhere with plenty of food. <gasps> that rocky reef, there's plenty of algae for them to eat there. But what about the urchins that are already in the kelp forest? Pearl, I hope you're hungry. Reporting for urchin duty. All right, Octonauts, start moving urchins to the rocky reef. <laughs> The urchins like it here. Keep it up, Octonauts. That's the last one, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Good work, everyone. The red urchins are gone and the kelp forest is safe. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. I don't know what I would have done without all your help. Oops, missed one. <laughs> Perry, you did it! Your first red urchin! From now on, it looks like you'll have some help with your urchin duties. <laughs> Fascinating. Captain Barnacles to Shellington. Find anything interesting in the lagoon? 
I found something amazing, Captain. A whole school of hammerhead shark pups. Well, be careful. If they're babies, their parents might be nearby. Well, actually, hammerhead parents don't take care of their pups at all. They're on their own from the day they're born. The pups stick together and protect each other until they're old enough to... Oh! Yeah, yeah. Hey, this stingray don't taste right. It don't sound right either. And it's kind of hard to chew. This isn't a stingray, it's a gop. Hey! Right here! We're done with you yet! Shellington, what's going on? These three hammerhead pups are still learning how to hunt, and the gup confused them. I'm just glad they didn't hurt themselves. Back in the water you go. Now, this should be a safe distance to study them from. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! Captain, the hammerheads have all left the lagoon. Got to find out where they're going. They seem to be in a real hurry. It's starting to get dark. And you know what that means. Night time. It's hunting time. Ready? Break! Oh no! Which way it uh, uh, ah. I've got to get out of here before the hammerheads... Oh, get away. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Uh, you won't believe this, but I've crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, and I can't follow the hammerhead pup. I need backup. We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, he was following three hammerhead shark pups. We have to help him. Captain, it looks like he was heading toward the open ocean. That's a dangerous place for hammerhead pups. In that case, we'd better hurry. Shellington, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain, but the hammerhead pups are gone. We need to split up to find them and then follow them. Yeah, follow a little baby hammerhead. This'll be easy. Just don't follow too closely, Quasi. They're still very young and the gups may confuse them. Got it. Shellington, you're with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Still no sign of any hammerheads. Wait. Shellington, I think I see one of them. Great. Now, don't let him out of your sight. That too will be hard. He's just nosing along the seabed like he's looking for something. I can't see you, Stingray, but I can smell you under there. Oh, yeah? Smell this! Ah! Oh, no! The hammerhead just got stung by a stingray! Don't worry, Peso. Hammerheads don't mind a stingray sting or two. <laughs> that won't stop me! No! How's about them? Go get them, boys! Uh-oh! Yeah. Oh, dear! I've got to help him! Oh. 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 Hello! Don't be afraid. I'm a medic, and I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. Whoa. One down, a lot more to go! Sharky, sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got you right where I want you. Oh. Actually, it looks like I've got you. Let go of me, octopus! I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, tiger shark! 
Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a... <gasps> tiger shark! Wait! I'm not really a tiger shark, I... Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wily one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. <laughs> you can't get away from me. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody help! Look, down there. The third hammerhead. And he's stuck. We're the Octonauts. We're here to help. <laughs> he's really stuck. We'd better call for backup. There, the last one. Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother! Captain, we're on our way! <laughs> come on, our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! Ahoy, Peso! These little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me? Uh, Peso, Quasi, over here. Oh, oh, ouch. This does me feel too good. Some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. There. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, guys, look behind me. Oh, fascinating. Hammerhead's eyes allow them to see what's behind them, like that... Shark! <gasps> this should give him something to chew on. Oof, oof, oof. Hey, those things don't taste too good, do they? I'm sure you'd taste a lot better. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, bet you can't catch me. <laughs> Peso, follow me and bring your friend. Quasi, keep that shark busy. Over here, you scurvy shark! Hey! Oh, oh where'd they go? Here! We've got something tasty for ya! <laughs> ah. Now! <laughs> Everyone, get back! What's the big idea? Leave us alone! Why? What's happening? Uh-oh. Well, I think he got the point. That was so cool. Well done, everyone. Hey, yous, don't forget about me. Whoops, sorry about that. Ready, pull! <laughs> pull! <laughs> we did it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Not like we needed it or nothing. Hey, we've got to get going. See you around. Wait, we still don't know where you're going. Follow us and we'll show you. What are we waiting for? Let's go! We're in the open ocean now. There's nothing around for hundreds of miles. Where could they be going? A vast, mateys. There's something up ahead. Something big. A sea mount. It's not on any of our maps. Ha! We must be the first to discover it. Actually, I think the hammerheads beat us to it. Look. So that's where they all went. They must rest here during the day when they're not hunting. Bye. Thanks again. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves. Good luck, mateys. Bye-bye. Hey, look! A stingray! Yummy, yummy! Oh, Whoa! Oh, yeah. This isn't a stingray, it's a gop! <laughs> <laughs>
I can't wait to get out there and study them as closely as possible. But not too closely. Sharks can be oh, dangerous. Aye, and that's why I just can't wait to get going and... Clean the gunk off the outside of the gups? What? It's your turn to do gup cleanup duty, Quasi. Ah, what's the big hurry, Captain? They can't be that dirty. Our gups are covered in gunk, and they don't work well when they're dirty. Ah, aye, aye. I'll make them ship-shape, but I'd rather be swimming with the sharks. Um, what about the gup, eh, Captain? It seems dirty too. Don't worry, Peso. She should be fine for a quick mission. Uh, maybe not. Aha! There she goes. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Okay, I'll get to work. After a quick game of table tennis, come on! Oh, look! There's a pilot fish. No sharks yet, though. Hmm, let's move further down the reef. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Some might say this is easier for you, Professor Inkling. <laughs> you win. Well done, Quasi. <laughs> I better get back to cleaning those cups. Well, maybe just one more game against all of you. You're on! Hmm, no sharks here. Nothing here either. Try the front window. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! It's a... A sha, sha, sha. A great big white tip shark. See the white tips on its fins. Oh, and look at those teeth. Ooh, we could use a toothbrush. Whoa! <laughs> What's he oh. trying to do? Oh, Captain, I think he's trying to take a bite out of the gut. He could hurt himself and us. Hold on, Octonauts. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys. The next point wins. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers. It's the guppe. Eh? Having a grand adventure chasing after a shark. You're not chasing that shark. The shark is chasing them. <laughs> ah, we can't seem to shake him. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. We need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Ready, Tweak? Now close it. Phew. Good work, Octonauts. Fascinating. I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you look like a tasty dinner, me hearties. 
No, that can't be it. Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> What? <laughs> Who cleaned the gup, eh? I did. Hello, how did you get in here? I followed the gup and I'm ready for more and more more. You mean, you like cleaning? I like it. I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. Ha ha ha! Then dinner is served. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Mm, delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. Great work, Quasi. These gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you were able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups. And now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hearties. Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? Shark. And his teeth are still dirty, too. Yow! <laughs> Steady! Mm -mm -mm. Time to eat and clean. Clean and eat. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! Oh, he's okay. Ah, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. But now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, pilot fish. I'm gonna miss that little fella. I guess I'll have to clean the gups all by myself next time. Oh, I'll help you, Quasi. You will? Of course. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. <laughs> 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 We're all connected and ready to go, Cap. <laughs>
Then let's turn on the Octocam and see if it works. Barnacles to Shellington. Is the Octocam working? Yes, Captain. The picture of the hermit crab is coming in nice and clear. No one's explored this part of the ocean before. With this Octocam, we can film the sea creatures who live here. Very good. Barnacles out. Good work, Octonauts. Let's head back to the Octopod. Those tiny, skinny, black fishies. The goop probably just needs a checkup, Cap. We'll be home soon, and then you can take a look. <laughs> Thanks, Tunip. These fish biscuits are delicious. Fascinating. How many sea stars are travelling together in this group? Let's see. There's one, two, huh? Oh, come back. Captain. Something's wrong with the Octocam. Let me see what I can do. It's not working. Hmm, that's strange. The Octocam was working perfectly when we left. Yes, can you come on down here? There's something you've just got to see to believe. Check out these three perfectly round holes in the gut. Whoa, what could have made those holes? Uh, not what, Captain? Who? Look at this. A whole set of teeth. Strong enough to take a bite out of the gup. Hmm. First our gup was damaged, and now the octocam isn't working. This smells fishy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's something very wrong with the octocam. We've got to get back there. I'll have those holes in the gut bay fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Shellington, see if you can work out whose teeth these are while we check on the octocam. All right, Captain. I wonder what kind of animal would leave their teeth behind like that. Don't worry. I'll get to the tooth. Uh, I mean, truth. <laughs> yeah, this is a mystery, and we've got to solve it. Quasi, Peso, into the gup with me. Not working all right. Not beeping, or whirring, or nothing. And here's why. Three holes in the rubber cable. Just like the holes in the gup. Three more holes here. And here. Hmm. Who's biting our equipment? <sighs> Captain, Quasi, I found another set of teeth. Where? Yeah. They were here just a second ago. Look! It's gone. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know, but I wish I didn't. It is none other than the Tri-Toothed Terror. The Who-Toothed Water? The Tri-Toothed Terror, a giant sea monster with three huge sharp teeth. Sneaks up on pirate ships, fights up with his enormous teeth, then disappears into thin air. You think the tri toothed terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the tri toothed terror. Well, if it isn't the tri toothed terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask you? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> It's a blue whale. Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me eye patch, Crooked. 
<laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> it's down by my tail. <laughs> ah, we've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried tooth terror must be nearby, but where? Ooh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. <laughs> Whoa, that was a wild ride. I wish I knew who was tickling me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, nope, too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. Wait a minute. There, that's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. But why did the wee sharks attack the Octocam cables? Because they get confused and mistake soft material like rubber for blubber. Rubber for blubber. We've got to ask them to stop biting our equipment. But first, we need to catch these rubber blubber lovers, and I have an idea. Barnacles to Tweak, we're going to need your help. Hey, Cap, you ordered a big rubber whale balloon? Thanks, Tweak. Let's set it up near the Octocam, and then everybody hide. I'm innocent. I wasn't even there. You took bites out of our equipment and broke it. Oh, that. Uh, look, we're, we're cookie cutter sharks. We uh, thought your equipment was food, so we took a nibble. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. But how did you keep hiding from us? Uh, 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 You're clamming up, are you? Oh, OK, OK. We'll show you how we do it. Your bellies glow. So when we're looking at them from below, they blend in with the sunlight. And all you see are those black marks that make them look like skinny fish swimming by. So that's why nobody can see you from below. Guess we can't fool you anymore. Nope, nope, no, can't fool absolutely you. Absolutely no fooling you at all. But why did you leave your teeth in our cup? Don't you need them? Our teeth come out in whole rows like that. And grow back really quickly. But what about the teeth that disappeared? I put them down, and then they were gone. The teeth disappeared because I ate them. You ate your own teeth? That doesn't sound very healthy. Mm, it is if you're a cookie-cutter shark. Our teeth have lots of vitamins in them. So, the mystery is solved. But could you please stop nibbling on our equipment? OK, OK, but we'd really like a snack about now. Oh, Ooh, yeah, oh, I'm like really snack. hungry. Uh, I've got an idea for that. <laughs> this fish biscuit is way better than rubber. Absolutely. Ah, he's not wrong. <laughs> See, Tulip, nobody can resist a bite of your fish biscuits. <laughs> I'm a bit partial myself. You're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso! Let's go! Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it! Octonauts, let's do this! If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh, spiky sea urchin. <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers. Cool. 
Oh, you want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They What's this? They love to play with each other and make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. <laughs> <laughs> There. Oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just play. <laughs> Bet you can't catch me. Oh, enough is enough. Oh. Whoa. Uh, easy now. I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on. <laughs> Look out! Whale shark straight ahead! <laughs> nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but, um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece! Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one! Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go! Ready, everybody? Ready! Ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral, put it in the holes. I reckon I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. You're on, matey! Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. <laughs> That's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There. We're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> and here's a picture of my little brother, Pinto. Lovely. Hi. And here's one of my big brother, Pogo. 
Ah, you look just like him. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Here's me again. Oh, nice picture, Peso. Good one, matey. And here's me, Pinto, Pogo, Piñata, Grandma Perdita, Uncle Pepe, Aunt Pepita, Cousin Petina. Yeah, there's so many of them. How do you keep track of all those relatives? Easily. I love having a big family. We all look out for each other. Captain, it's Dashi. You better come to HQ as fast as you can. There's something you need to see. We're on our way. There's a big volcano nearby. And it looks like it's about to erupt. A volcano? But we're in the middle of the ocean. There are volcanoes even on the ocean floor, Peso. See, we're over here in the octopod, and deep down over here is the volcano. Right now, incredibly hot lava and steam are building up underneath. Soon, it'll erupt. And all that hot lava will come bursting up and out into the water. Wow, that looks dangerous. It is dangerous, but the volcano is so deep down, we should be safe up here. I'm worried about all the animals who live around the volcano. Aye, Captain. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get all the creatures away from the volcano as fast as we can. Dashi, Shellington, keep us informed of the volcano's activity. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Quasi, Peso, into the gup. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. We should see the volcano any second now. Keep your eyes peeled. There it is. <sighs> Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, the volcano is getting hotter and the lava is rising. I'm afraid there's not much time before it erupts. Understood, Shellington. We need to get all the creatures out of here fast. Attention, everyone. This is Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. You must all leave here right away. The volcano is about to erupt. Erupt? <coughs> Can't go any faster. Oh no, that sea urchin can't move very fast. Don't worry, we'll help anyone who's having trouble getting away. Put on your deep sea suits. Quasi. You take care of the spiky creatures. This grabber could come in handy. Uh, aye. Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. And I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Yow! Ready. Ahoy there, urchin! Let's get you to safety! Oh, thanks! Aha! There's a slimy one. And it looks like it could use my help. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Don't worry, if you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. Whoa! Ah, another slimy creature that might need our help. Excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. 
quiet. Mm. 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 Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. Bob the Blobfish, but you could call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just me tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three bob -cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No boblem. Oh, <laughs> I mean problem. <laughs> Tentacle! It hurts! I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. You need a bandage. There. Good as new. Thanks. Lean on me, matey. Now let's get you out of here. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, time is running out. The volcano will erupt in the next five minutes. Got it, Shellington. Let's do one last check and make sure everyone's out. Meet back at the Cup A in three minutes. Yes, Captain. Captain Barnacles to Quasi. Is everyone out of your area? Aye, Captain. All clear. Whoa! Get back to the cup as fast as you can. Peso, is your area clear? Yes, Captain. Oh, no! They're still here. It's Bob, Bob and Bob. Captain, there are three blobfish right over the volcano. We're on our way, Peso. Come on, Quasi. Oh, I'm coming for you, Bob and Bob. But you're so far away. Bob! Peso! We have to get you and your brothers out of here. Oh, I thought I could do it by myself, but the truth is, I have no muscles. I'm all jiggly like a jelly. I can barely move. Don't worry. We're here to help. Shellington to Captain. You should get out of there now. We're on our way. Peso, you take Bob. Quasi, you take Bob. Oh, but, but what about Bob? Bob's with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, tickle, tickle, here. That tickles. Let's go! Good work, Octonauts! Yes, sir, -y, Bob and Bob. It's a good thing the Octonaut got us out of there. I sure am glad to see you both. I would visit more often, but it's just so hard for us blobfish to travel. But look at us now! We're all on holiday together. Hey, thanks, Peso. No bloblin. <laughs> 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 Say, ah. Uh... <laughs> Looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? <laughs> Two. 
That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag. Oh no, I've got to find it. Aha! Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Mm. Hey, uh -huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, quasi, to the gup A. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Um, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move on. Well, 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 uh, now, wait, 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 wait. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Tweak's costume will fool them. If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Uh, must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody, one, 
two, three. <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. <laughs> That's better. Don't get too relaxed. Hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <laughs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumpy jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. <laughs> wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! <laughs> Careful! Quasi, try to get back into position! Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my... Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it, my medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief, but that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? Oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. If it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you could do anything for me? Hmm, one twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will. And you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. Oh, 
it'll be great to get back to the Octopod and get some sleep. Aye. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it, my belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <laughs> There's a monkey? Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice seagrass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Aye. Yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, my favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured, my least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. <clears throat> um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah, I'm Sonny, and this is Janice. We're the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sonny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um, seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's, uh, head back to the Octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. How much further, Captain? Not too far. The water is getting a bit rough, though. Octopod to Gape, come in, please. We read you, Dashy. Is everything okay? There's a big storm heading this way, Captain. Suggest you return to the Octopod as soon as possible. Thanks, Dashy. We're on our way back right now. Barnacle's out. A vast. Look at the fishies, mates. They're all heading for cover. Whenever a storm approaches, fish know to head for deeper water. It's much safer down below. We'll do the same. Sweet Octopod. This storm could last a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. Huh? Oh. Look, it's Janice. She's in trouble. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Guppy's all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. <laughs> Flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye! There'd be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! Holding on by her tail! <laughs> Our 
I'll get as close to her as I can. And then Quasi, you... Quasi? You! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But daddies don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast, because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir. Leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Do you see him? Ah, not yet. We'll check the rocks next. Don't worry, we won't give up. We still need to search that kelp forest up ahead. We don't want to get the guppe stuck in this kelp, so we'll get out and search for Sonny. Sonny! Are you here, matey? Sonny! Sonny! Hmm, at least the storm is finally calming down. But where's Sonny? I guess we'll never find him. Excuse me, are you Janice? Who, me? No, I'm Quasi, and, and I'm not a seahorse, I'm a... I'm Janice. Janice, thank goodness you found us. Sunny is about to give birth. You're just in time. Oh, where is he? Please take us to him now. I'm a medic, I can help. Over there, near that seaweed. Sunny. Congratulations, Janice. It's a boy. And a girl. Oh, my. And another girl. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And a boy. And another girl. Hey, Janice. Sunny, I'm so glad I found you. Janice, you're safe. Meet the children. Our children are so beautiful. How can we ever, ever thank you? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. <sighs> what are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for barnacles. And that really handsome dipper is Quasi. And that one's Peso. And that there's his sister, Quasetta. Oh, she's a firecracker. 